What's up, everybody? H-Town, H-Town fans. This is South Sports Special. This is your boy, Ed Hunt Show. And like I said, this is South Sports. We putting on for H-Town, Hustle Town, Crush City, Clutch City, Splash Town, Splash City, whatever you want to call it, South City, you know what I'm saying? Hey, for you from the south, the north, the east, or the west, you know H-Town is the best. And anyway, we're going to represent for our teams because, you know, they ain't going to do it outside the city because they act like it ain't all good in here. But as we see last night, you know, the national media was all on Russell Westbrook dick talking about, oh, he, he dropped a, a triple-double in the first half. Amazing. Now y'all motherfuckers realize, this is what, what dropped a triple-double, what, three in a row? And guess what? He's three and one in the series. So what the fuck does triple-double mean? There's your MVP. Man, fuck that shit. That's what I'm saying. You know, motherfuckers got to get out that ESPN mindset. ESPN came in and fucked the game up. They changed it from where sensible, knowledgeable fans no longer exist, and now the casual fan thinks that they're they're really on to something. And, uh, you know, with these bullshits, man, they had some more bullshit stats that they put out last night. I hate fucking ESPN. Uh, Vince Carter, the first uh, 40-year-old fucking – basketball player to score three three-pointers or three field something something in the playoffs this stupid fucking stat i can't stand fucking espn anyway let me not get overexcited about it, man you know i say this is your boy hunter we're gonna talk about the rockets because that's what we give a fuck about the rockets when we talk in the nba we talk about h-town we talking about the rockets so the rockets put on last night uh my prediction was that they win by 15 that didn't happen i think it was what 113 109 something like that 109 108 something like that uh Man, came down to a crucial sequence at the end of the game. Uh, and, man, I mean, it was just crazy. It was really, really crazy. I still wasn't worried about it because, you know, you got to put things into context. Everybody wants to talk about oh, that last series, that last sequence was crazy. Russ jacked up like three or four shots before, three or four threes before that. They were just fucking bricks. So, yeah, that one that you finally makes looks good. But, now, come on, Russell Westbrook is not clutch, dog. Like, you don't get clutch, Gene. When you the last four shots, you jack them fucking up, and then one of them finally fucking is. Those were jacked up ass shots, like not close, not his shot range. Not that motherfucker put up a prayer last night, and one of them got in. God just got to say, "Damn, you're putting up another prayer, another prayer, Russell." God damn it, Russell! I let you had a triple double record, and, and now you're still asking. You put up all these prayers in the middle of the game. And God got mad. God cussing his own name. He's so mad at Russell. He finally gave him the shit, Russell. God damn it. Here, here's another one. Answering prayers all goddamn night long. But anyway, we saw who the real uh, the real victors were. Because like I said, even though we were down majority of the game, and I've been saying it all series, the Rockets still, even last night, they did not play good. They did not play well. And James Harden, uh, at the end of the game, he mentioned that he was playing on, a, on an injured ankle. And I know exactly where that injured ankle come from. It came from that fucking no call in game three uh, when he fell or, quote, unquote, when they slipped. That's when fucking Roberson, Robertson, whatever his name, tripped his ass. It was no call. It was at the end of the game. It was crucial. which should have been ended this game in a sweep, this one here, because that would have been free throws and whatever else. But it was a no call. And you could tell that's what happened when James turned and, and twisted his ankle. I mean, we, you saw it at the end of the game. And so maybe, you know, he didn't make a big deal about it. He played on it. He didn't play well, you know. But the thing about your teammates having faith in you and understanding the game is that you cannot play well and your team still be successful. Oklahoma City could do that. But like I say, they don't have the rhythm. They don't have the continuation. They don't understand because it, it, there's no flow in their game because Russell Westbrook will at any time just start jacking up shots, just going to spree, start playing hero ball. Like I said, he did well through the first few quarters, and then that fourth quarter, when shit started, you know, dissipating the lead, started evaporating, it started to become a game, here goes Russ with the craziness. All in all, the Thunder cannot run with the Rockets, and that's what's happening. They're going there, they're, 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 they're overexerting themselves in the beginning, trying to overplay the Rockets, and they're doing all they can, and then Russ got gas in the first quarter. Uh, had to get get taken out, and after I knew I knew the game was over right then, I knew the Rockets would win. If he's getting gassed in the first quarter, it means he's playing entirely too hard. To uh, let me get something myself. There's no way he can maintain that pace. That's not that's not Thunder basketball. So when you're trying to play somebody else's game, it's going to be hard. They did a good job on James last night, but considering that you know the the revelation, the late revelation, rele- revelation. God damn, I'm learn I'm learning English today. The the revelation that you know he had a little bit of injury. You know, it makes their defensive efforts not as, as spectacular, but I'm not going to take it away. They, they played him damn good. A lot of calls that should have got called. He was getting banged on that weren't really going both ways. A lot of bullshit from the, the referees, but that's usual. I mean, you can come and expect that, and you can call it. Both sides are going to see what they want to see. 
Uh, but what you get a lot of time when you get those ticky tack calls that the Rockets end up benefiting is because the refs knew they missed a, a big call and referees will try to compensate for missing a call by, you know, calling a more ticky tack thing down the way and think that they're evening it out. And that's that's human nature, but it's really fucking up the game because there's there there's no two situations that are ever gonna be weighted entirely equal in a basketball game because you don't know, you know, the outcome of, you know, what may or may not be. Um like I said, jacking that fucking shot uh, by Adams at the end just to try to get the rebound, you know, cool, whatever. I, I, whatever. I mean, it was cool. But like I said, it came down to it. You saw what happened. You saw what it was. You saw what it took. And you saw who came out on top. Now, uh, I'm not going to go into game five, my game five prediction as far as uh, naming numbers and shit like that. But I was accurate about the Rock score. I called it it was going to be 113 to – to 98. That's what I thought. I thought it would be a 15-point victory, but it turns out I got the 113 right, but it wasn't 98. Uh, it was more like, what, 109. So, those, I, was, I was definitely 11 points off. Um, but like I said, another triple-double, another L. You know, so if people equate triple-double to greatness, this series should show, this This should knock people back into their sense. So, you've got, what, three triple-doubles. you played four games. you got three losses. That's the only, the only common denominator is three in in, in – you know, you had three triple doubles and three losses. And I guess triple in triple double, that's that means three. So the common denominator is three. And it is not getting you nowhere. You know what I mean? That that don't that ain't getting you shit. You know what I'm saying? Right here. The, the numbers tell you right there. Zero and lucky number thirteen. You know, right, right, right. But I'm point my finger at you, and I gotta get used to this whole shit. But anyway, fuck y'all. Um but so like I said, man, I'm I'm cool. Like I said, I already called the series in five before it all started. I have no worries about the next game. Uh, they're coming back to Houston. I know the Houston crowd needs to be fired the fuck up. I mean, really, get in their ass. Get in Russell Westbrook's ass like OKC fans getting Beverly's ass. But the thing about Houston is you got – you got, and this is why I have to put on for the city because you got a lot of motherfuckers here who don't represent right. Uh, live in the city, don't got no love for the Rockets. They're, motherfuckers live in Houston their whole life, and they're OKC fans. OKC is not a place anybody gives a fuck about. If you're an OKC fan and you never lived there, you're a fucking bandwagon. I don't give a fuck if you're down since Seattle. Maybe. But then when they left, you're going to be like, man, fuck them for leaving Seattle. Just like in Houston when the fucking uh, the Oilers bounced, became the Titans. I'm not a Titans fan. Fuck that. Fuck Titans. Fuck Tennessee. That has nothing to do with an NBA. You might be here for NBA talk. You want NFL talk, I do that too. Catch it on some other shit. But anyway, what I'm saying here is that Great win by the Rock is way to come back and hold it down. Like I said, I really I'm, I'm not worried about the series at all because it's not going to be close. Like I said, these games have been only because the Rockets have played so poorly. Now, what I would like to happen is uh, Rockets go ahead and close it out this next game, get a few days of rest because uh, I believe I believe are we two and two in the I think we're two and two in the San Antonio Memphis series, and I think we take on whoever wins out of that uh, if I'm not mistaken. And if that's a two and two, then that means if the Rockets can finish this off, you know, that's at least an extra two games. You know what well, I mean? Well, I guess they play tonight or whenever. That's an extra game at least that you'll get to uh, rest. You know what I mean? Because that gas series is going to have to at least go to what six. And so if you can finish this in five and get some rest, you know, before you have to start your next series, let James rest that ankle. You know, get a lot of recovery, and then really kind of. Get your shit together. It gives you a chance to kind of prepare for the next team because uh, you'll know, I have a better idea of who you're facing. Uh, and while those teams are still playing, you know, they can't be preparing for you because they have to deal with what they got going on hand. So it gives you that advantage. So if you can go ahead and clean that up, I would love for that to happen, love for that to take place. It'd be great. So anyway, like I say, another great victory by the Rockets. This round is almost over. Uh, excuse me, can't wait to start commentating on the uh, the next round whoever we play. Uh, I'd love to draw Memphis. I don't care about drawing San Antonio. I think we can run with whoever. You know, if you want to make James have to beat all the other, you know, finals contenders on the way to getting his championship that we're, we're on the way to getting this year, because we're going to go get that. Because I, I've gone ahead and made the decisions that the Rockets, we're going to win it this year. James is, is tired of being disrespected. Uh, when y'all see unlucky number thir- lucky number 13, y'all better get the fuck out the way. Beard or beard, because you don't know what's in the beard. You know what I'm saying? It may be... It may be a secret weapon in there that, you know, he's just waiting till the finals to draw out. But anyway, like I said, man, great game from the Rockets. Uh, everybody contributed real well. I mean, overall, pretty good game. But, but and man, let me let me stop because I can't believe I didn't talk about, you know, the lookalike. You know, I'm, 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 uh, I'm tight. I'm tied up today 
But you know, you know that dread power. I had to send it to Nene last night. I told him, say, look, Nene, um, you know, me and me, dread brethren. You know, you know, we connect. So I sent him. I sent him the good vibe. You know what I mean? A lot of mercy. I ain't no fucking. I don't, don't, don't believe that bullshit. I just be talking that shit. But I sent him the dread vibes. You know what I'm saying? And I connect. I say, look, I need you to be perfect. James got the hurt ankle. You know, uh, everybody else kind of tripping. You know what I'm saying? They ain't really picking up the slack. I need you to play some grown man ball. I sent him that telepathically through a dreadlock connections. If you ain't got real dreadlocks, you if you ain't got real life, you don't understand that. You know, you, you got a it's a telepathic type thing. Y'all believe that bullshit? Anyway, like I said, man, hey, I appreciate y'all checking me out. Give me a, a follow, like, subscribe uh, to the channel if you like it. Like I said, I'm coming with it daily. And if it's if it's happening in Houston, if it's some sports shaking, I'm going to get on that shit. Astros won last night, man, and I promise, I said I want to get more into the, the baseball thing. I'm going to do some study. I'm going to do some history because this is about H-Town. You know what I'm saying? H-Town sports getting the love that they truly deserve because, like I said, in the national scene, they ain't going to give it to us. And at the house, they be acting like they don't want to show us no love here at, at home. So somebody going to do it is going to be me. If you fucking with me, like I say, subscribe, follow. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it 100. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, draft week. So I'm definitely do a lot of NFL talk this week. Deuce up. You know what that means. It's your boy Ed Honcho. I'm out.